In today's video, I will show you how to use HTML codes in your Amazon listings description to make your listing stand out from the competition. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Bishar Ketu here, Amazon BS seller from beautiful San Diego. I know in many cases that it's very frustrating seeing your Amazon listings description look just like a clutter fuck and you can't do nothing about it and a lot of times you know you try to do it with Amazon's listing you know a little algorithm that Amazon offers and you know you just can't get anywhere and I when I first started it was very frustrating for me also because I tried spaces I tried you know copying it and exactly how I want it in a little you know like a word spreadsheet and then I would move it over and once you click that save as button or save now button and you go back to your listing and it just looks like one clutter piece of I don't know what it is and it was very frustrating and I didn't know what to do until I found out that you can actually download or you can actually use HTML codes inside of your description to actually manipulate the way that your wording is situated and then also to add bold uh, words onto your description you know because with the features Amazon gives you the option to make them pretty, you know, they're separate words, and they look very beautiful on the listing, but the description is just all over the place, you know? So in this video, I'll show you exactly how I go about, uh, you know, uh, uh, showing you guys the whole concept of adding HTML codes, what HTML codes to add, and just how to do them. So right now, we're going to jump into my computer, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Let's go ahead and write it. All right, guys, so we are um, in my screen right now and as I was saying earlier um, I'm gonna jump into my screen and show you guys exactly you know how this works and uh, what I do to make my uh, listing prettier right now uh, first I wanted to show you guys an example of each of the two scenarios uh, so you guys can uh, see the difference right um, so as you guys can see here are two listings um, I always uh, use grill gloves as just something generic that comes to mind all the time and um, as you can see, both of their features are actually decent. This is actually Amazon's choice. Um, and uh, if you look at this guy, I mean, 500 reviews, you know, they're killing it. Um, if you look at their actual features, they're actually pretty great. Oh, this is exactly how I like to do it. You know, big caps and then, you know, just like what it is. And then kind of a couple sentences explaining. And then the same thing here. You know, I typically like to uh, put like a check mark or something or an emoji or uh, whatever. You know, just kind of make your listing stand out. But they're both great listings. Now, let's see here. Let's go scroll down to their product description, right? So let's scroll down to this guy's product description and see, you know, how it looks. So do you see how it looks? It's literally just the clutter of a bunch of words. You don't even know what the hell it is. I mean, if I was a buyer, I wouldn't even rate this or waste my time going through it. I would honestly just either, you know, if I wasn't sold, uh, you know, here, uh, then I'll just kind of probably pass to the next uh, product. And that's the most important thing is you want your listing to convert, you know. So if you go right now to the back end of your uh, your listing and then try to type something in your um, in your description, this is how it's going to look like. It's going to just look like this. And even you might be pressing enter and then just kind of doing, you know, uh, some spaces. But when you once you press save, this is how it's going to look. Now, what do you really want your listing to show or what how you want your description to look? You want your description to look more like this. So do you see how this looks, how it's nice, neat, and organized? How they have the big at the top right here. They have, uh, uh, um, you know, they have an actual, uh, you know, title with, uh, and it's in bold. And then they have spaces. And then they, you know, they wrote what it is. And then once again, the same thing. And then, you know, just like then there are spaces, there's bolds, there's, you know, different bullet points, there's all that. So I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you can do this. And I'm going to teach you how you can make your description look like this rather than looking like this. Because if you just go right now and type a bunch of words, it'll look just like this. And you need your title or your description to look like this. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, my, uh, just a blank sheet right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this. And I'm going to paste it there. And I'm going to show you exactly how they were able to do that, right? So we're going to go ahead and paste it right here. Okay, and then we're going to pretend that, okay, so we're going to pretend that this is actually not in bold. Um, let me see if I even know how to do that. So this is not in bold. And then that it, everything is uh, pretty much a clusterfuck, right? So it's not in bold. This is not in bold. 
let's go ahead and do that. So let's just pretend like this is actual the back end of our listing and all this stuff is not in bold, right? So this is how it's going to look like. And it's really not even going to have this and it's really going to be all just like, it's going to look like more like this, right? This is kind of how, kind of how it's going to look like, you know? So let's go ahead and make that so that way we know this is a break and it needs to go down. Okay, so, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So the four different HTML codes that you need to worry about and then you need to know are these right here. Let me show you guys. All right. So they are those right over here. Let's make them big so that we can see what we're talking about. So these are the main four HTML codes that we need to worry about. These are the only four that we really need to know and how to use, okay? So if you want to make your uh, uh, your title bold, this is the HTML code they use. So it's pretty much uh, 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 shift, comma, okay? And then that's where you get this little symbol right here. The letter B, lowercase, shift, period. That's closing it, right? And then you type whatever it is, whatever the, um, you know, the title is, and then you have to close it because you have to tell the computer or you have to tell the system that I'm done with the title or I'm done with what I want it to be in bold. So once again, shift, comma, forward slash, B, you know, small letter, and then uh, shift, period, right? And then now this is making the title bold, right? Now, this this symbol right here is for spaces. Um, so once again, you go shift, comma, you open it, and then you do uh, the little, uh, uh, you know, uh, slanted, um, you know, the little slanted uh, uh, shift, which is the forward slash, and then B, lowercase, and then once again, shift, period. So this is this right here. So this guy right here opens the title. This right here closes the title. So you're telling the system this is, you know, the 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 wording between the two um, symbols is what I want to be in bold, right? Now let's go to the second thing. So this is one. This is two. And then both two, both those, both of those two are for one, you know, for one uh, function, pretty much for making the title bold. Now the second most important thing that you need to know is um, shift period or shift comma br shift period which is break which is space okay so every time you need a space this is what you do and then every time you want to create a bullet point this is what you do you pretty much do the option eight and that's if you have a max so let's go ahead and kind of go here and put this in action so let's say i want to i want to have a break here right so i want to have this go more like this okay so what I'm going to do is, let's delete that. So what I'm going to do is shift period or shift comma B shift or BR shift period. Okay. So this means this is going to drop once. Now, if you want to drop it twice, you pretty much do the same thing again. So you do shift uh, comma BR shift period. So now it's going to look like this. Okay. Now, Let's say this is our title, and we want to make this bold. So what do we do is we go to the beginning of it, and we do shift, comma, B, shift, period. And then at the end of it, so we want the whole thing, you know, this whole thing to be uh, bold, we have to close and tell the system that this is between this symbol and this symbol are what we want to be in bold. So what you do is you go shift, uh, comma, forward slash, B, shift, period. So now you're telling your system, this is what you want to be in bold, okay? So this is how it's going to look like. And then when you put uh, this, these two symbols, you're, you know, you're going to drop your, uh, uh, your paragraphs or your uh, wording two spaces down. Now, in order for you to create these bullet points, all you're doing is pretty much you're doing shift number eight. And you're pretty much giving it uh, uh, your... Uh, you know, you're making it, you know, you're, you're putting the, uh, the, uh, the bullet points, right? And, uh, that's all you're doing. So let's see here. My bad. Did I say shift? It's, com uh, it's option eight. So if you have a Mac, it's option eight, not shift eight. So option eight is what gives you those bullet points, right? And then you pretty much write whatever it is that you got to write. So four different symbols they need to know in order for you to create a very beautiful description are... Uh, shift comma B shift period opening the the heading or the title 
and then at the end of it, you put you uh, you enter shift comma forward slash b lower always lowercase uh, shift period, and that's closing it and then telling the system that this is exactly what you want to have as your heading, or you know you don't want it to be in bold. And then the next thing, then the second and most important is uh, shift comma br shift period, which is giving you breaks or dropping your your uh, wording down, okay? And then um, option eight is what gives you those, uh, you know, those uh, 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 bullet points. Uh, so that's pretty much it when it comes to, uh, you know, to, uh, to creating HTML codes and how to make your description beautiful and make it stand out and make it look more like this than make, you know, than it looking like this, where people can actually see it. All right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, that, you know, information about how to make your description stand out, how to make your title, um, I mean, your listing stand out from the competition and how, you know, most importantly, how to insert um, HTML codes into your description to making your listing look great and different. So um, if that was a, an informative video, if that was something you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please go ahead and share this video and smash the thumbs up button. And let me know also for future videos what you guys would like to see more of as I um, you know, post daily videos on my YouTube channel completely for free. You know, you guys don't have to pay for anything. But all I ask is subscribe to my channel, share your thoughts down below, and let me know how else I can help you guys out. Once again, guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon BS seller from beautiful San Diego. In and out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.